Alrighty, cool. Well, today we got an uh, unboxing of the, of the Jersey Star. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of the Rich Samboro series. Uh, actually, Kramer's in general, but Rich Samboro pretty much is what I like. Um, I've got a JS here from uh, the early 2000s uh, and 287 Kramer's. And then uh, I've, I've managed to get a few extra necks. So this is a Pacer Custom. Uh, I believe the Pacer Custom 1. I don't know. Uh, but it's got the Rich Samora neck on it. And so does my Klein uh, Wizard. It's got a, also Rich Samora neck. So I like the feel of the neck. So I, whenever I find one, I, I usually try to purchase it if it's within my means. But today we've got the Jersey Star reissue. It just came out. A friend of mine just bought it. It's going to give me the opportunity to actually um, unbox this. So we'll get to see uh, what it looks like. This is uh, shipped out from Music Zoo. So you get an idea of where this was purchased. And here we go. Cool Kramer logo there. And here she is in all her beauty. Looks like she arrived in one piece. Yeah, you got some pretty cool Kramer swag here. Kramer sticker. And it looks like a Kramer hang tag. And probably uh, the bar and some other information on the guitar here, real quick. Let's go ahead and remove this cover. color just pops man. Very similar to the color of the original RS that I have. Um, you know there are some differences between this series and the um, previous series. Um, this series uh, doesn't have the shatter um, tuners. And uh, I believe this series has the Korean FRT-1000. Uh, but this one does have the original Seymour Duncan pickups, which is cool. Um, the previous version did have the original uh, Floyd Rose shatter locking tuners, but it had Kramer um, pickups, uh, actually Gibson pickups. But you can see there the differences. See what it looks like next to the original. You can see it. It looks like it's a little brighter. That might just be the age of the clear. The clear, you know, it yellows with time. As you can see on my original RS, um, the white has actually turned to. Geez, I don't even know what to call it. It's almost like a light yellow. Um, so it's yellowed quite a bit in the past few years. Yeah. There is a difference in the neck profile. Uh, the JS seems to have a much thinner neck profile um, than this specific model, uh, which is noticeable. It's probably a little bit closer to the original series. Kind of feels about the same. I don't have a tape measure to measure it with or anything like that, but the inlays look pretty clean. Um, I think in the original they went more with the glossy look up front. 
This one has more of a satin uh, finish. Feels nice. Uh, the fret edges feel really nice. It's got a nice setup too. Uh, one of the other things that I noticed that's different um, is the way that the screws for the five-way switch uh, are. These, they're closer to the original ones. Uh, the original ones were kind of the same way. They kind of sit on top, but on the original JS, um, they actually sit, sit flush mount with the rest of the guitar. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. The star itself looks about the same on the body. Kind of, it does fit pretty flush. I know that this original one was inlaid. This one, I can't tell too much if it's just a sticker. Um, but you can kind of see a little bit of, of an edge to it. Um, so I'm not sure if it's actually an, an inlay like the original was. Um, the original, well the original JS, the original RS did have a sticker in its place. This was not an inlay, it's some kind of uh, decal or something that they used. Um, as you can see I made something similar for this Pacer Custom. Um, the logo looks to be about the same as the original. Um, the only difference is the, the JS on the truss rod cover looks considerably thicker. Um, I can't see that here. Yeah, you can really kind of see the difference in the width of the necks there. I don't know if you can catch that. But, uh, the dots are also considerably bigger than they were on the JS. And the original JS had uh, back mounted Floyd Rhodes, whereas this one is top mounted. One of the nice things about the original JS too was uh, it did come with shutter locking uh, strap locks, uh, as well as an original Kramer case which the new series doesn't come with. Um, but overall it still feels like a pretty nice little, doesn't feel too different. And the other ones, uh, aside of the neck, the neck definitely feels a little bit fatter. But um, looks wise, it looks pretty solid. So to give you an idea of what some of the differences have been throughout the years, um, so in, in 87 they actually had two versions. Uh, they had a Japanese market version and then they had this version. And one of the things that deciphered the Japanese from the American uh, they, for one, uh, they used a really uh, inferior um, tremolo on the Japanese versions. The American versions did have a original Floyd Rose. They also have Seymour Duncan pickups. I believe it's uh, JB Jazz Jazz, or it might be JB JB Jazz. I'm not really sure. One of those two. Um, they also didn't have uh, shallower tuners. I believe those usually had. Um, Goto tuners, and so another difference between the Japanese and the American RS uh, were the, the barrel jacks. Japanese had a square barrel jack, these have, um, well, the barrel jack, <laughs> I guess I'm, I meant to say input jack, so uh, Japanese had an input jack that had a square on it, and these have the barrel jack. So just like most all the Kramer Americans have barrel jacks on them. You notice if this one had it. Yep. Brow jack there. Um, <clears throat> one of the other differences you'll notice in the Japanese version is a lot of them had maple necks and uh, they didn't quite look like this. They, they kind of just had a black um, decal that sat, sat on top of a maple that they just clear coated over as far as I can tell. I've never really seen one in person but I've seen some people that scalloped them and you can see they're not an inlay, they're just kind of some paint or, uh, or, a, knit, or a decal. Um, so that's kind of what the difference is between this version and a Japanese version, which I don't have one. And then between these two, um, again, they both had original Floyd Roses. 
Um, this one had the Seymour Duncans, whereas the original JS didn't. It had Kramer pickups, which I believe were outsourced from Gibson USA. I'm not positive on that. Um, the logos are different. These have a shorter, the, the block logo, whereas these have a pyramid logo. Um, and they use the same logo on this version of the JS. I think that's pretty much it in terms of the stuff that pops out of me. A lot of people ask me, you know, what, what's, how can you tell between the original JS and the RS? Well, the RS didn't really come with a maple neck. I've only seen one RS that had a maple neck on it, and a, a guitarist from Australia, I believe, owns that guitar. And that guitar was actually missing the first inlay. It would only start on the third fret and go down. And the, the inlays were very similar to this. Um, his was red like this. <coughs> I believe this had a black headstock. Um, so when you look at um, an RS and a JS, if you see maple neck with inlays um, and a body inlay and, and a headstock inlay, then most likely it's a JS as long as it has the Kramer block logo. But now it's going to be probably a little bit harder to decide between these two, but you know, the difference between these again are Seymour Duncan pickups, Kramer pickups. Um, these don't have flush mounted um, three way, uh, five way uh, pickup mounting screws. These do. Um, original Floyd Rose uh, Korean FRT 1000. Uh, on that one, it's all shouter, including the. Um, the uh, truss rod adjustment tool holder. Um, also, you'll notice that the the actual uh, serial number is different. Um, on the original JS, they're actually down here. So, well, at least mine is. I don't know about some of the other ones. But uh, that kind of gives you an idea of what what they look like, especially uh, sitting there side to side. That's the, that's the JS. And, oh, one more thing that I wanted to show, to, to show you was the difference in the backs. Um, this one has the same routing cover on the back as the original JS, but when you look at an RS, it's a little bit different. You can really see the shape. It's pretty unique to the uh, Sambora, whereas... Um, this back cover is very similar to what they used on all the other guitar bodies. That's pretty much it. Cool, man. We'll keep rocking on.